Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. We're here at July Valhalla 2012. I'm here with Andre. Hello. Yes. Uh, <laughs> now, Andre's a little camera shy. I tried to do an interview with him, but the best I could do is get an interview with his Marienburg class land ship. So uh, go ahead and tell us um, if you want to play one of these, uh, where does it come from? Okay, this is actually produced by Forge World, and it could, could be purchased from them on their website. And its rule set is found in the uh, Throne of Tamarcon book that you can also buy from them. And it's got a rule set very similar to that of the current Empire Steam Tank, actually, found mm -hmm. in their, uh, in the current Empire book produced by Games Workshop. Okay, and uh, points-wise, how close is it to the Steam Tank? Actually, it's very similar. This is a little bit more in terms of points than a uh, Steam Tank. Okay. Um, it's got about the same strength, same number of wounds, same toughness, same armor save. It's just that this has a much easier mishap table. Really? Than, okay. than if you play with it. So, so now it's, it's it has much, a cannon on yes, it, right? it's got a cannon. Is the cannon like not as good as a regular steam tank? Um, uh, the cannon on this one strength 8 as opposed to strength 10 that you would find okay. on the actual steam tank. And it does D3 wounds instead of D6. But okay. it does also come, all those little guys on top that have guns, uh -huh. they can't actually shoot those. Those are boarding shotguns that they can actually fire from the Marienburg landship. So not only does it have the cannon attack, it also has six uh, uh, musket attacks that it can make. Really? Yeah. Okay, like handguns? Yeah, just, the, like, those just, are? Uh, just like handguns. And the best part is, is it can actually move and shoot those handguns. Oh, I see. Okay, great. So um, now, uh, didn't you have this on a base when I saw you playing? Oh with yes, it I use this. I have a small base that I just put under it because uh -huh. when I rep, because I also use this to proxy as a steam tank from time to time, and the steam tank has a much smaller profile than this. Right, which is advantageous, mm -hmm. really. So you don't want people to think this giant thing. Yeah, is because the, then they'll uh, just hit it with cannons and templates, and they'll easily be able to hit something this size. Right. So if you want to proxy it as a steam tank, the easiest way is to get a base size similar to a steam tank and just put it under it when you play with it as one. But otherwise, you can easily run this as a steam tank. Right. If it's a game where people mm -hmm. are like, yeah, I don't want to do Throne of Time or Constant. Exactly. Stuff. Although it is all official, right? Yes. It's all, like, legal, and that is, you know... That's how it works. I think mentally people are trying to get their arms well, around that people one. people do have a tendency not to want to play with some Forge World rule sets. Un unfamiliar so, things. Yes. It's not that they're overly powerful. No, If actually, anything, Forge World is underpowered just a tad. This, if you were to actually look at the rule set for this and compare it to the price cost of a steam tank, this is probably a little bit more underpowered than an actual Empire steam tank, right. simply because it's about 100 points to 6 to between 70 and 100 points, I can't remember exactly, more than an actual steam tank. Right. So it's a, it's a spendy piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. But you just, you just run it as a steam tank in a typical game and yes. it has, you know, really familiar rules yes. to it, you know. All right, and this was, uh, this was painted by Blue Table Painting. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we got it done. We got it done. Probably a month or two ago, yep. actually, right? All right. Well, folks, that is a Marienburg land ship, which is quite an evocative, almost steampunk type of, of piece. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Andre. You're welcome.